Contemporary artist Chimp never imagined it would be so hard to buy his first home, especially not in Wadarapa. So, after countless late nights, scouring listings, and with rejections piling up, he chose to focus his frustrations through art. In the end, it left me feeling quite disappointed, and I channeled that energy into this escape mechanism exhibition. So I think it helped motivate the, the exhibition and the body of work I've produced to represent that. From his family home in Parkvale, Carterton, to Lim Gallery, Ponsonby, Escape Mechanism will exhibit where the crisis began. Auckland, as a location that has gone through serious gentrification, I remember it was a big deal when the median house price in Auckland went over one million, and now that seems cheap, you know? So I think it makes a lot of sense to exhibit where I believe the housing crisis kind of stemmed. 25-year-old Chimp found himself at a standstill when his dreams of owning a house in Wadarapa were shattered. In the last year, the average asking price for Wadarapa housing has increased by 10.4%, from $721,410 to $816,080. I wanted to find something that I could get onto the property ladder with to get started, something I could do up and, you know, eventually move on from just a starting block but there basically is no beginning step anymore. Like the cheapest properties you can find are apartments, which you can't do anything to. I suppose where I thought Wairarapa would have more worn down older buildings that one could get for a reasonable price and work their way up the ladder, that gap has been removed from this housing crisis and that's going to have pretty significant ramifications further down the line as more and more generations grow up and want to purchase their own home. Chimp's family live in a tiny home in Parkvale while they navigate the trials and tribulations of building a home. Uh, the builders are working on my parents' house just back there. It's not just that the housing crisis has brought you know, property prices up, it's that COVID-19 and the freight issues that have stemmed from that have caused massive supply chain issues in every industry, but particularly the building industry. So building a house is getting more expensive, harder to secure materials for, which is just further adding to the problem. It's sort of a perfect storm in a lot of ways. We've got supply issue, demand issue, can't build more, can't get more. Escape Mechanism will feature 10 paintings, three poems, and Chimp's first time exhibiting a sculpture called Makeshift, built from farm materials cut using a CNC machine. Makeshift is a sculpture I've produced as a mock solution for the housing crisis. It's basically a blunt statement that if we don't sort this out or figure a way around or change our ways, we will have to make our own little shacks, whether they're tiny homes or just homeless shelters. So at the start, I just wanted to use found and recycled building materials, and that's what it is made of. But instead of it just being a rough shack, I tried to produce something that was actually quite aesthetically pleasing and balanced and use the similar shapes and forms to the paintings to link it all in. I also wanted it to be not just a depressing fact that we might end up in homeless shelters and more like what can we do with found and, and recycled materials and you know with a bit of design and, and effort and energy you can actually produce something that looks quite good. Wouldn't be my ideal solution though. Through experimenting with graffiti as a teenager, Chimp took his self-taught knowledge of graphic design and spray paint on to build his career over the last 10 years. Spray paint is such an incredible medium because it's so powerful in the way you can create or destroy in a matter of seconds. It gave me a lot of passion for making art. Before that, I didn't quite have the spark about it and the infatuation that I do. The problem with spray is that it's so messy and the fumes get annoying. But into the future, it would be awesome to see companies developing more environmentally friendly and you know human safe materials. But in the meantime, I've been branching out into new mediums like print and brush. The exhibition at Lim Gallery, Chimp says, has been a long time coming. This is a process that's longer than my usual. I've been chipping away at these pieces for about 
two years really when I first started bringing architecture into my work. It's a fairly new subject matter to me and this is the first body of work I've produced focusing on architecture or buildings without birds or portraits which are my usual staples. The processes involve designing on Photoshop, Illustrator, printing those, looking at them in real life, painting samples, making lots of concepts, going back to the design process on the computer and then building up texture and then adding more and then taking away a bit more. Although Chimp couldn't secure a house in Wadalapa just yet, when he's not painting, he still finds inspiration from all around the region. So I like to go diving, that's something that I've got into this year. Wadalapa Coast is amazing for diving, Nawi, Tora, Pawa, you get Pawa, Crayfish. We take the spear guns out as well, which is a lot of fun. Quite like going off-roading around there as well. My new hobbies have definitely been influencing my art and connecting it to nature more. And I suppose it's making it more about adventure and exploration. So we'll, we'll see how that affects it in the coming years. Just with the, how much technology is in our lives now, Wairarapa helps connect us back to nature and ourselves, because we are animals after all, speaking as the chimp. Chimp hopes that his art will at least show people that they're not alone. I suppose it's a frame of reference, like for other people to see how other humans are interacting and seeing the world and to potentially relate to or completely disagree with because you get a lot out of both. As an artist, I'm aware that I can't physically change much, but my biggest hope with the show would be for the right people to see it and it may inspire some change or just for the average person, maybe some comfort that we're not, you're not in this alone, everybody's facing this, this crisis. Escape Mechanism will be showing at Lim Gallery in Ponsonby, Auckland from July 22nd to August 7th. Ellie Franco, Local Focus.